Um, so my first question is, what is uh, the strategy for uh, Emirates for uh, Portugal, uh, especially for Lisbon now that uh, you have uh, again the two daily flights, but uh, is there uh, any new, are there new, any new plans for new routes or increase in our frequencies? Well, you're right, we have two flights a day into to Lisbon now with two 777-300 ERs in three classes. Uh, they're completely full in and out. So. Uh, ordinarily, if we could get slots and we had the aircraft, we would be putting a third flight in, but obviously we can't at the moment for the two reasons. No aircraft and there aren't any slots at Lisbon Airport. Um, what do we see about the, the Portuguese economy? Very strong, growing fairly rapidly, a lot of tourism coming in. It's a fantastic value for money destination. So they're coming in from, uh, surprisingly, in large numbers from the Middle East um, and, and further afield. So it is a destination of choice. Hopefully it'll last. Um, so that we can open Porto again whenever we get the aircraft to be able to do that. So, yeah, it's a good story going forward. Uh, picking up on the Porto destination, we, we uh, also get a lot of comments from our viewers that they uh, expect Emirates to come back to Porto. I'm not saying on the short term, but do you believe there are uh, opportunities to uh, go back uh, to the Porto operation? I, I think there are. Um, the uh, future for Porto, if we can uh, say, get the aeroplanes back, we are we're getting three, a fleet of 350s, which start arriving in July of next year, and we've got 50 of those coming. And we're hoping to start deploying those on some of the, the points that we used to serve, like Edinburgh in Scotland, Porto in, in Portugal, and a few others. So if we can get that back, that's where we will go. If demand continues to be as strong as it is for Lisbon and Portugal, why wouldn't it be for Porto as well? So I'm, I'm kind of hoping that we can ride the wave and get back quickly so that we can get the advantage of what's going on here. What are the plans for the 777X uh, uh, for Emirates? Uh, do you know where it's going to be deployed, the first route it will operate? Well, it's a good question on, on the, where it's going to go at first. First of all, we've got to get it. Um, after all, it'll be five and a half years late when we do get it and we, we, we cannot actually say with certainty where we're going to put it until we know when it's going to come. But plans are in the company now, we're getting ourselves organised for it, it's uh, arriving in October 25 and well before that we'll know where it's going to go. There's multiple places that we can fly it. It's a great aeroplane, it's just taking time to get out of the door.